Okay, we're here in Sacramento, uh, day before the start of the 2010 Ambient Tour California, uh, talking with Dominic Roland from Team Cervello um, here in the host hotel. So Dominic, um, you're back again. This is your your third your third tour of California. Third tour of California. Okay. So um, tell me, you know, uh, what's what's the team's overall goals here? Is it GC? Is it stage wins? Um, what what is what what is the plan? Well, I think looking at the roster, uh, we're mainly looking at stage wins with uh, Theo Boss on board. We've got a great, uh, great lead out for him. Uh, myself, Brett Lancaster, who's the last guy who tore in the tour. Uh, Jeremy Hunt, who's a former sprinter. Um, I know Charles is here, so it's like with like strong guys like this, we can do a good lead off the tail. And tail has been proven uh, quite fast this year. It's like managed to beat uh, Kevin Dish, so uh, I think uh, we'll, we'll be looking for a bit of a challenge tomorrow. And what about yourself? I mean, you obviously got that sort of epic stage win in San Luis Obispo a, a few years ago. Um, is there, you know, thoughts of, of trying to get you in, in some sort of break or, or, or see if we can get something organized there? Yeah, well, we have one major problem. It's May. <laughs> it's not uh, February. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, temperature-wise, we won't see the same the same thing as in February. But, uh, yeah, for sure, maybe later on in the race after uh, stage three or four where it could be a break that makes it to the finish or maybe the last day, which is mm -hmm. a hard, hard circuit in town where the GC will be settled after the time trial. That's maybe where a breakaway would make it to the finish. But the first few days, we're kind of focusing on stage winning with the sprints. Like we've got okay. With tail boss, I think we, we can make it with one or two stages. Okay. Now for you, I mean, you've had a strong, a, a strong spring season. Um, what is it, 12th at Perube? No, 30th. 30th, but sorry. My group came for 12th. You, your, your, yeah. your, group, your group was sprinting for 12th? Yeah. Yes, okay. So, you know, um, how are you feeling in, in, in terms of your, um, not, not just your fitness, but, but, but how your season's going this year? I'm, I'm quite happy with the start of the season. Didn't get as good results I was expecting, but I think for the first time in Paris Roubaix and Flanders, to be able to be up there at the finish and do do some work, I think I was pretty pretty satisfied with that. Helping the team, getting such a strong results, and uh, getting some results on myself and like killing Russell Kuhn where I had the great legs and, and well, the weather was, was terrible, even worse than, than that stage in California. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, I had a bit of a downtime since Roubaix, just you know, doing some altitude preparation for here, so we should. I should be doing well. Okay. Now, going forward from here, I mean, are we going to be seeing you possibly in the Tour de France this year? No, not this year. Like no? I still have to prove myself to the team in the Grand Tour before they step me with the big boys in the, in the Grand Tour, like the Tour de France. So, uh, unfortunately, with, well, it's, it's a hard way to say it, but it's like, unfortunately, with the two new rays in Canada, mm -hmm. I'll be mostly attending them, which is it's going to be fun, but it's, it's stepped me away from doing uh, a grand tour like I would have, would have hoped to do Vuelta again, but right. I think it's, it's going to be a great opportunity for myself and the team to have in Montreal. Back. Now, looking forward to those races, I was just talking with Ryder Hedgedal about those as well, because obviously he's looking forward to those. Um, for you, it's even more uh, important because it's in it's in your home province. Yeah, well, last time I raced on uh, in Quebec City, I was uh, a turned national champion. So yeah. yeah, there's there's a bit of emotion there. there there'll be there'll be something on that day. And, uh, Montreal, uh, well, I know those roads by heart. I know that climb. I know. Uh, uh, the back climb that they had, that they well, they put back since uh, since Wells were in Montreal, so uh, since the Olympics, sorry, mm -hmm. in '76, and uh, I think it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be something something special, and hopefully bring bring back a, a bit of a you know, a bit of a cycling vibe in the city. So is that going to be um, proper to say that that is one of your main focuses of the season to build towards that? 
uh, second focus. Yeah, my first one was the classics, so mm -hmm. I'm done with that now. Kind of like recover, do some good races. Like I'm heading to Dauphiné Libéré after this, so it'll be another uh, strong test and good work for the team. Mm -hmm. and then leading towards a uh, good end of the season, like, uh, like like I had like last year, where I was coming back from Mono, right? Still managed to get a couple of results in August and September. Okay, okay. So overall, I mean, in terms of this is what your third year, uh, third year Pro Tour. Second year. Second year Pro Tour. Well, it's not Pro Tour, but yeah. Yeah, well, we can say at, at, at the top level. Yeah. Um, I mean, in terms of your development, do, do you feel you're on track with with with, with where, where you want to be in terms of your development as a rider? Well, yeah, I could say so. It's, like it's a slower process than I thought. And looking around, like a uh, rider should always there for a few years and it took you know, even managed to, to really step up last year, which like, uh, really adapted and start to get big results. So it's, it shows it takes a couple of years to adapt. So hopefully I found a team I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable with and I, I know I can be around for a couple more years with them. So from there, I know I can keep like progressing every year. So the first year, last year, first time doing the classics, I was struggling just finding position, finding my way into the, the, the cobbles. And this year, when when I had to be up there at the front, when the the moment was critical, I was there. I was just like at at the exact spot at the right moment. So I've seen already an improvement. Mm -hmm. Now it's just to get over those uh, last moment of like, when to save properly my energy and where to be. So and I've got good teammates to learn from. So mm -hmm. it's, it's I think the perfect uh, elements in the situation. Okay. Okay. So, um, I guess tomorrow you're looking for a sprint. Um, yeah. you'll, you'll see my face on the front doing some turns for a tail, I think. But the tail's feeling good. The guys are uh, we're coming strong from uh, altitude. And I think, yeah, we've got a good team to, uh, to, to put on the show tomorrow. Well, we'll look forward to seeing more.